now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our MTGP Ladies Bantamweight World Title Bout. Please welcome, firstly, to the black corner, the champion, the challenger from Leeds, Hannah Brady! Well, you heard it. Hannah Brady, Kip on tip, Jim in Leeds. Trained by John Pop. Kip on tip. Good clincher. She's come to fight today for this title. Hannah Brady! And please welcome to the white corner from Melton Mowbray, the reigning and defending MTGP Bantamweight World Champion, the pretty killer, Iman Bolo! Fights. Been fighting since I think she was six. Or a very young girl, anyway, trained by her father. We've seen some of her teammates come here tonight and bring the fight. Do not expect anything less from this girl. Absolute season pro. Was fighting cool Thai rules in Thailand as a child. Father behind her, my brother behind that. Ty Barlow, great fighter in his own right. This fight should bring fireworks for our main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this full Muay Thai rules bout will be for the MTGP Bantamweight World title. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the black corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, she scaled 54.4 kilograms. She's representing Kip on Tip Jim in Leeds. Please welcome Hannah Brady! And across the ring, fighting out of the white corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, she scaled 54.7 kilograms. She's representing Team Assassin's Gym in Melbourne Mowbray and is one of the finest Muay Thai fighters this country has ever produced. She's the reigning and defending MTGP Bantamweight World Champion. It's a pretty killer, Iman Bolo! And ladies and gentlemen, this bout will be contested over five three-minute rounds. Ladies, come to the centre. Ladies, this is for a world title. Conduct yourselves accordingly. Let's have a clean fight and protect yourselves at all times. Good luck to both of you. Judge ready. Judge ready. Judge ready. Well, the words of Peter Lowe there. Imam Barlow, one of the finest that this country has ever produced. Such is the task in front of Hannah Brady if she wishes to leave this MTGP as the world champion. You ready? You ready? Round one, box. Oh, 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 oh. 
Round one. Look at the condition of these girls. Anna Brady is just shredded, man. Look at the shoulders on her. Some great condition. Full Muay Thai rules. Knees and elbows to the head. Five three minute rounds, bantam weights are both coming in under 55 kilos. This is where I find it really interesting. I want to see how both girls perform in the clinch because Brady from John Pop's gym. Great clinches. Certainly looked busy in that one. The man throwing elbows right from the word go. And again, we talk about feeling each other out and having a quiet first round. No such thing. We're a minute in. Look at that work in the clinch there. Brady with a hand in the face, just blocking the view, pushing her head back. And a couple of good knees to the midriff of Barlow as well. Does it look like this might be the game plan? Stepping in and clinching for this entire fight. Testing Barlow in the clinch. As you mentioned, though, the physical condition of Brady. It's insane, isn't it? I wish I'd show this. Unbelievable, Mick, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying this about the clinch, but Barlow is no amateur here. She's fought many, many ties. Well, she somehow She's found the space oof. to throw that elbow there, but Brady's just clipped it. Just got tagged a little bit. One thing that Amon has always had is absolute power. Her striking on the outside is so strong. Yeah, Brady, look, using the left hand again. Great movement of the head, turning her over. Come on, just locking up to force the referee to stop and break the clinch. Again, Brady walking forwards. Oh, nice work, though, from Barlow. That guard of Brady's, it's quite wide. Good knee. Space through there. Yeah, but this is the game plan. Great kick by Barlow. trying to take the legs out but Brady solid on her feet there oh the elbow from Brady as well big elbow but again look at this rocked Barlow back Brady has come to fight we never had any expectation otherwise oh the kick at the end what an opening three minutes for Hannah Brady yeah, what a start here. Pushing Barlow back for a lot of that round. Early days in this fight, though. Most of these start quite slow, but this one was pretty frantic for, for a five-rounder. Well, when you're the challenger, this is the kind of opening round that you want, though. Few clean elbows, good work in the clinch. Look at this guard as well. Brady's guard's really good. Watch when she comes forward, coming forward to force the clinch. And the whole time she comes forward, she's blocking. None of those shots from Barlow were really landing hard. And that was a good elbow. You know, she pushes long guard, pushing her back again. Really interesting work there. And is that physical conditioning going to show and impose himself on Barlow? You can see she's got visible strength there. Oh, six pack I'm jealous of. Well, this is the kind of condition that you expect from a world champion. As Barlow looks to get that left foot through early on. Look at that lovely little left step from Brady. Cutting off the ring. She wants to close Barlow down. You don't want to stand it in front of Amon Barlow and let her kick you because she kicks hard. Look at that. Great shot there. And again. Just before that, look how quickly Barlow is in and out with the left hand as well. But Brady grabs that leg and throws the leather. This is it. It's going to be a case of who can impose the, their fight on this, on this uh, boat. Brady looking to close down. Barlow looking to move and counter. 
too short on that. Just a slight slip. But it's Brady who wants to engage, isn't it? As Barlow's looking to give herself some space, Brady gives herself a couple of seconds to fill the lungs and then goes back to work. Yeah, there's an intense look of focus in Amon Barlow's face. She is taking Brady very seriously. And Brady just has one look in her eyes. And that is just focus on coming forward. I'm going to hunt you down. I'm going to trap you and I'm going to knee you. Barlow doing well to keep light on her toes. Scoring well on the outside. But as a true world champion, these are the challenges that you want, aren't they? Yeah, this is great. It's all about who can impose himself and who can stick to their game plan and impose it well. Good knee from Brady. Brady as well there with the point of the knee straight into the midsection. She's tough, man. She just has one action and then it's forward, forward, forward. So hard. When you fight someone like that as well, who does not take a step back, they just come at you. So imposing. Well, I'm interested to see if she can continue this in rounds four and five. Of course, you've mentioned her physical conditioning. Obviously, that comes with a level of cardio fitness. But if you continue to take these shots, because she is taking shots from Iman Barlow, can she keep marching forward at this pace as we get into the dying embers of this fight as Barlow lands? Just off balancing her as she's uh, she was coming in on one leg there. I don't think Barlow is able to really hurt her, though. That's the interesting thing, because she's smothering Barlow a little bit. That was a better knee there from Barlow. She's got a mark under the left eye of Imam Barlow. Taking an elbow, I think. I was just looking at that earlier in the round, and I'm surprised we're only seeing it now, because she's taken quite a few. Looks like a small cut, I think. Time! Again, on the bell, you mentioned that small cut, and straight away, Brady's arm goes across the face. Yeah, that's a that's a position thing. Getting the arm across the face, pushing their head away, taking them off position. It takes you off your balance. It also doesn't allow you to see what's coming as well. Some really good technique. It's a, it's a nice technical fight here. Great kick there from Barlow as we see the replays now. Just walking down from Brady. What a great round. This MTGP Bantamweight World Title fight. Elbow landing from Barlow there. Just glancing the head. It did make contact, but just not enough to uh, to cause the cut. There was no flick of the elbow. Gone is 10 seconds. Seconds out. And it is a cut. Boxes ready, let's go. Just on. Right corner, let's go. Just on the cheekbone there, below the eye of the man Barlow. Yeah, it's not in a dangerous Box. place. It's not a showstopper. It's normally a showstopper when it's either huge, it would have to open up really big. Yeah. Or usually the worst ones are on the eyelid on the or the top yeah. of the eye. Something that bleeds into the eye and stops the stops the uh, the fighter from seeing. And if you can't intelligently defend yourself, the referee has no option but to call the fight. Great knee from Brady there. Hello on the back foot. She's landed a few good shots in the opening 30 seconds of round three, but Brady just keeps coming forward. So the right hand there of Barlow's. Brady just does not care. He's punched in the face and walks straight through it. It's brilliant. It's a little trickle of blood coming from the nose of Hannah Brady now. And the mouth. She's taking shots, but it's that <laughs> definite Thai style where you just keep your chin tucked in and you just walk forward and smash your opponent. Here we go, elbows. First sign of Hannah Brady starting to breathe heavily there. We're, what, seven and a bit minutes into this world title bout. Better kneeing now from Barlow. Amon Barlow is always well-conditioned. Pushing out of the clinch, wants to be on the outside. 
Doesn't want to clinch with uh, Brady. She's strong. Good kick. Mambola's mouth wide open, gasping for air there. Not surprised. Been a very physically demanding fight so far. Blood coming from the mouth of Brady. Little left elbow there landing on Brady. Into the final minutes of round three. Over halfway. As you say, Barlow looking tired, but Brady just slowing down a little bit herself. It would be impossible to turn the screw at that level. Four or five rounds as Barlow finds the rib cage with the right leg. Nice knee from Brady. Again, Barlow pushes out, prefers to be on the outside. Brady walks her down, eats a body kick in the process. Brady not kneeing as well as she was before, and Barlow stepping up the action here in the clinch. John Pop getting very animated. Good knees from Barlow there. Pointing the knee straight into the midsection. towards the end of this round just starting to right. slow down for the first time yep true it's getting tired you can see the pace of the fight and sometimes you see people carrying a lot of muscle as well we we're saying how ripped she looks and muscular but sometimes that can be taxing carrying all that muscle and she's worked hard Let's take a look at this, perhaps Iman Barlow's best round of the fight so far. Definitely, and it's one of those things with five round Muay Thai fight, you want to get stronger and stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. Well, here's the big challenge for Hannah Brady, of course. Fantastic opening round. We asked at the very beginning whether she'd be able to maintain that pace. Impossible to main that, maintain that pace for five rounds. However, has she got a change in tactic to be able to, well, dominate Barlow as she did in the first. Just in those clinches, sorry, sorry to, to interrupt you there, Barlow just seemed as though she was getting the better of them with the knees, something she was unable to do because of Brady's strength in the opening round. Yeah, very true. And also, the other thing is, Brady's walking her down still, but she's getting she's getting scored on now. Whereas in the first round, uh, and earlier in this fight, as Brady was walking in, she was lifting her, her block up as she walked in. So she would block the kick, then go into the clinch. She's trying to do it there, but she's just slowed a little bit, I think. Yeah, Barlow just getting through that guard with the left hand there. Interestingly, that Brady's not been able to do any more damage to that cut under the left eye in that third round. That was better work though, that evade, that lean back and she counted well. Nice guard there from Brady. Conserving energy well. Nice lean back and counter. Blood trickling from the nose. She's gonna make it difficult to breathe as she wipes it just on cue. <laughs> Good evade and counter, but then she gets tagged back. She's moving the head well, isn't she? Because Barlow keen to land that head kick. Brady still going forward, but the attacks aren't as vigorous as they were in the opening exchanges. She's starting to take some real punishment here. As Barlow, as you said, always well conditioned. Halfway through round four. Oh, lovely right hand there from Barlow. And Brady somehow still manages to engage in the clinch. Step back, let go. Barlow doing well to lock up there in the clinch and stop Brady from attacking. Sometimes blocking your opponent from working is outscoring them when they are working. If you're showing that you're stopping them from imposing themselves. Good knee from Barlow. It's kneeing much better now, as you said. Step up. Stand up. 
Step back, Garner. But if you objectively look at the movement now when the two are about to engage, Barlow just looking a little bit sharper in movement, Brady. All those, all those little movements that, that she was making to get away from Barlow in the opening exchanges, they've kind of gone now. She's just walking forward, trying to use that strength that's deserted her a little bit in this fourth round. Stop boxing, Brady. Nice Step back up there again from Barlow. Stopping Brady from scoring in the clinch. Good elbows, good knees from Barlow. Beautiful technique from both these girls. <laughs> John Pop just uh, screaming at his girl to, to work more, come forward. She can't come forward much more, can she? Well, I think she did better earlier in this fight at closing the ring down. Now she's sort of following him on around the ring a bit more as opposed to closing the ring off and being more economical with her movement. One round remaining. This one worthy of the headline events. Imam Barlo and Hannah Brazy, the challenger, has three minutes to dethrone the champion. A look at some of the replays. Huge credit to Hannah Brady, even though she's tired, she just continued to come forward. She's done some clean work in that round as well. Yeah, I like her guard as well, when she's got that long guard and her hands are up and she's not taking a lot of punishment there. I mean, a lot of those shots are coming through. Down the middle is where she's getting caught. That's why she's got the bleeding nose and mouth, but not getting hit with any of these big hooks. Corners, 10 seconds. Look at the franticness in the corner there. In the black corner for Hannah Brady. Guys, get your top there. Ready, last round, box. Great mutual respect from these girls as they head into fifth and final round. Well, as the corner was sending Hannah Brady into battle there, I think they realized that they need this round. As you rightly pointed out in the previous bout, you need to come and beat the champion. She's certainly got the quality, Hannah Brady. Has she got the execution in the remaining two and a half minutes of this world title bout? Barlow doing much better at the uh, evade and counter thing here. Brady walking after her, but again, like I'm saying, not closing the ring off enough, really. That's better work. Step in knee. When that is your style, to walk forward, you're going to take so much punishment. Well, I think she did better at the start of when she walked forward. She always had a guard up, ready to block the shot, then step in and... and score with her own. It's funny, Iman, like we were saying, two rounds ago she had her mouth open, but she can still maintain this pace for five rounds. Crazy conditioning. And in fact, Hannah Brady has slowed more than Amon Barlow. Well, that's the 100 fight experience, isn't it? She's Most definitely. She's been there, she's been to the well before, and she lands a lovely right elbow there, but Brady lands a clean one of her own. She's not done yet, she has a minute. Yeah, it looked like Barlow's legs went for a second. Keep a close eye on this one. 50 seconds to go. Hannah Brady, the challenger. Imam Barlow, the champion. This is where fatigue sets in and mistakes are made. Stop boxing, break. Let go, let go. Don't hold the ropes. Box. 
And the final throw of the dice here for Hannah Brady. It's going to go to the scorecards. And when you're the challenger, you never want it to go there. Particularly because even when Brady's had the ascendancy, Barlow's work rate's never dropped. True. Here she goes, scoring with those good body kicks. Time! Well done, girl. Another bout worthy of a world championship. Iman Barlow, the bantamweight world champion, has had to dig deep to go five rounds with Hannah Brady. As you said before, Dave Fed, some huge mutual respect between the two, but now it is in the hands of the judges. Yeah, what a superb performance. It was very impressive from Hannah Brady, but as we said at the very start, it was going to be tough to maintain that level of pressure against a girl who has a, an obscene amount of experience way beyond her years. Let's take a look at some of the best action from the fifth and final round. Just watching the replay here, elbow into the clinch. We're going to go to MC Peter Lowe for the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, a massive round of applause for both of these ladies after five superb rounds of action. And at the end of those five completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner and the MTGP Bantamweight World Champion fighting out of the... White Corner Imbar! Still the world champion, but what a challenge Hannah Brady caused her.